It still looks good, but it's Right here, I've got two different frying pans, but the one on this side is a one star rated on Amazon, and this one is a five star rated pan. I'm actually gonna be preparing the same exact food. So this is a fillet, fillet? Clearly not attending this kind of five star quality foods. I'm gonna use good quality butter, like rosemary. I'm gonna try to do the best job and cook it using a one star and a five star frying pan. This seems to be kind of the trend for this, like all the things that I've ordered for this video, but basically the one star frying pan is actually more expensive than the five stars. So the price for this one was around 15 pounds, which is I think around $20. It was basically completely entirely one star reviews, apart from one person who gave it a two star. <laughs> And this one, even though it's got a lot of five star reviews, this is basically on Amazon, the highest rated frying pan. You can look it up and like find out. And weirdly, this only cost 10 pounds, which is basically not even $10, maybe like nine, eight dollars. Does this actually make a difference on the flavor that we're gonna get from that steak or the way it cooks? I basically looked up a recipe on Google, so I'm gonna try to like follow it the same for both steaks. All right, so it's literally the same cut of meat. So we're gonna do salt and pepper on both sides. We're gonna be generous with this because we want a lot of spice in here. So I'm gonna turn it into the same thing on this side. So we're gonna start by using the five star pan. So I'm gonna cook one of the steaks and follow the exact same method. So I think we're just gonna need some olive oil and butter in the end, but we're gonna do the same using both pans. So we're gonna start with the five star. According to the recipe, the first thing we need to do is use some olive oil. So we're gonna pour some olive oil. They said just enough that it coats the bottom of the pan. So I don't know if the non-stickness of this is going to come into play. That might be a little bit too much. We might remove some of that. That's probably better. So according to Google, this has to heat up for two to three minutes before we put in our steak. So let's give it a few minutes. So I think this is very hot, but the oil is not covering the whole surface entirely. But I mean, that's, I'm basically just following instructions. Oh my God. That is definitely not the microwave mill standards that I'm used to. I'm not gonna touch it for two to three minutes and then we're going to attempt to flip it and see, I don't know, if this is going to stick. Oh my God, that, it didn't stick, it got crusty, like so quickly. I'm gonna show you like in a better angle because I'm really scared. <gasps> I'm gonna start a grease fire, that's for sure. Okay, we're gonna leave it for another three minutes and then we add the butter. I'm gonna be quite generous with the butter. Oh my God, that looks so good. That's unreal. We also got some rosemary, like fresh. Oh my God, Gordon Ramsay could never. When did I become good at cooking? Like this happened, like things that happened, this. So we're gonna give it another two to three minutes on each side. So this is officially our five star steak. So this is a one star rated pan and we're gonna do literally exactly the same thing. Like I'm obviously, like I'm keeping things really real. On Amazon it did say it had a non-stick coating. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Once again, we're gonna let this warm up for two to three minutes. I do want it to be good because I really don't feel great about wasting literally the best steak that I've ever bought in my life. There's smoke coming from the pan, which didn't happen on the other one. So, I mean, I am kind of scared. Oh my God. As soon as I dump this, I'm gonna run away. I don't know if you can see it. My kitchen is so smoky from this. Oh my God. It's, it's so reactive and like my kitchen is like, there's so much smoke coming from this. I don't understand. Ooh, it definitely isn't the same look. Like, it still looks good, but it's... <laughs> what the f Oh my god, I'm so glad I got that on camera. <laughs> oh no!
Oh no! I just want to say that I am prepared with a fire extinguisher in case this happens again. I'm actually shaking. So we're gonna add the butter. Okay, it didn't explode, so that's a good thing. And then we're still, we're gonna do the rosemary on top, but honestly, I'm kind of like, it does look still good. Oh my God, I'm so scared of showing you. It still looks good. So, I don't know. Okay, I need to calm down for a second because honestly, like my hands are still... <laughs> this one is like really dark, even though I think he cooked for even less, but like it went really black really quickly. This one is still toasty and obviously it's cooled down a little bit, but do you see how the bottom is more liquidy, the butter sauce? I almost died using the one star, so I do have to take that into consideration, but I do think it was my mistake. So we're gonna use some of that brown butter sauce because it looks delicious and it screams heart attack and honestly This one is a bit taller like it didn't flatten down as much. So we're gonna use some of that butter on top as well Oh my god, the butter on this one looks so nice Normally I like my steak to be <laughs> really overdone because I don't deal with that kind of bloody stuff but for this video obviously we're cooking a very expensive steak i'm i want to cook it like a medium rare like kind of thing let's cut into the five star first oh my god that cuts so nice i mean it does smell incredible wait does that mean this is is this good you guys let me know like is this like a nicely cooked i honestly i don't i never eat steak and i never cook it like that but that looks Pretty good to me. <laughs> that feels more like something that I would cook. <laughs> what we've done was we bought a very expensive cut of meat and I cooked it like this cost like 99p. <laughs> it looks like a McDonald's patty. The fire happened as well and honestly I feel like if I had to write these I would definitely say that the five star is better. Like honestly it wasn't that bad but there's so many burned bits all around the edges well, on this one, none of that happened, so even though this is kind of what is expected, I would be lying to you guys if I didn't say that I preferred using the five star, but I did. All right. Considering the five star one is cheaper, I'm gonna say that the winner is a five star expectedly. So we're gonna move on to the next one. We've got a lot more appliances to test and foods to cook. And I'm definitely not gonna be eating a steak meanwhile. If you thought that this was enough disaster for a video, you haven't seen anything yet because for the next one, we're gonna be testing out a one star versus a five star serrated knife. Wait, I just forgot which one is a five star for a second. I just checked my Amazon account and turns out this is the five star, this is the one star. So I'm gonna try to keep the sides as the same. The one star cost 33 pounds, which is around $35. And this one only cost 90.99. And this is a five star rated one. So I don't know what that means. This time around, we are prepared because I mean, after the first one, <laughs> Okay, that doesn't work. Wait. That could really hurt me. Also what I said every time someone said anything to me in school. We're gonna test it out on pretty tough bread. Then the second one, a pineapple, a lot of people use it to help them uh, just carve fruit or something. But the last one and my favorite one, <laughs> Frozen turkey like frozen meat seems to be a huge one as well. So oh my god. Why am I scared? This is terrible. I'm so confused. I was using so much spray Wait, I think I'm getting it Oh, Okay I mean, they're putting clean in a clean cut. This probably comes from the fact that I've never used this before, but I think it works best if you do it sideways. It's kind of weird because for the first one, I've definitely used a frying pan before. I mean, surprisingly. But for this one, I just don't know what the standard of a good one is. I don't know if this is gonna be easier or more difficult. Ooh. 
This is really difficult. Ugh. Wow, that only took about five minutes. This was really difficult. Honestly, it smells like this is about to like explode, which is interesting. So I don't think this is gonna work on a frozen turkey. So we're gonna give this a try in some frozen turkey. Oh my God, I'm so scared. <sighs> it smells like this is about to explode. And also this is so, so hot and like, we only managed to get the very top bit of the turkey. The price point might be the reason why a lot of people gave it a five star. Maybe if they use it for bread, that would be okay. But for all these other uses for a five star product, I don't know. As you can see, we've cleaned up, but I kept the exact same food items because otherwise this is not fair. But we've got here the one star rated. Honestly, that sounds more powerful. It still smells like it's burning. We're gonna put it to test with the bread. Turns out the five star might have been onto something. <laughs> Not only this is super clean as well, like it's probably cleaner than the other one, but it was also quicker. Like I felt like this was really quick. Maybe not. That's sliced like butter. Should we do like the bottom so that it's like comparable? So I'm gonna try to slice off the bottom. This is coming with a lot more surprises. Now the final test is whether this can cut through frozen meat because the first one didn't. It definitely made like a bigger like cut. Do you see the one on this side? Um, to me the five star serrated knife was more like a three star and the one star was more like a four star. This takes a minute, but it makes sense in my head. Uh, so I was pleasantly surprised with the one star because it wasn't as bad. I was still disappointed they can't cut through frozen meat, which advertises on their website. But overall, the one star is pretty good. I would prefer the one star over the five star. This next one is a little bit different because this is not really a, like a gadget to cook something or a specific dish, but this is more like something that helps you when you're cooking or when you're in the kitchen. These are basically automated can openers. So you basically use this to help you open those cans that don't have that little pull up thing. This is also interesting because I think for the first time in this video, the one star was a lot cheaper, so... Wow, I nearly cut myself there. So the one star rated one is more like a portable device and this cost 11 pounds, which is around like $14 or something. And this is like... I don't really understand. I think you just touch it and it's supposed to work. On the other side, the five star can opener, you have to plug it, so it's got like an electrical cord. But also, this one has this little magnet thing that I don't even know what this does, but you can also open like bottles. The price in this one is not fully comparable, so the price for this one was $19.99. I think it works. I don't know, let's find out. So we're gonna start with this one. So I think the blade is this part like here. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Wait, what? Maybe we have to remove the little magnet thing. Wait, do we have to hold it? That's kind of annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna put the blade down. Okay. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, a mess. Wow, I love that. I mean, it does work incredibly and you definitely do not use a lot of strength and it just, does it even spin on its own? I don't know. But like, maybe it was the can, like it did start spilling really quickly. So let me try this again. I barely have to hold it. All right. Are you for real? I literally had one job and I, s <laughs> I spill condensed milk everywhere. The blade, wow, well, is covered in condensed milk. So <laughs> that is something you might have to consider. I didn't hate it. 
and that's probably not the reaction they were hoping for from a five star product but i do have to say that this one star product like the one star can opener it didn't come with batteries so that is something that you need to buy completely separately i mean i don't know who takes my videos that seriously but i do want to be informative because otherwise what is the point of this? I think the way it works is you press the button on this side and then the blade will come out. I think it actually looks really cool. Wait. Oh wait, it doesn't stop. Uh, I guess we just hold it like this. So press to start. Oh my God. Is it working? It's so difficult to press to stop. Stop. Oh my god, it won't stop. Stop! It won't stop! <laughs> I mean, that is completely different the way this opened. Um, I can't even show you because this will spill. It's no responsive, it wouldn't stop. Like, once it started, I also didn't understand how it was even working, how to hold it. Maybe it's my fault. The most likely scenario is that it is. So I'm gonna try this time around to just hold it myself. I hope this makes any sense. Wait, I'm gonna stop. Oh, it's not moving. So that didn't make a single cut in this. As you can see, it stays the same. So I think the only way to use it is the way we did it, which is put this on top. Let's try this again. This is, this is really stupid. This deserves less than one star, okay. So you have to hold both. You have to put your finger like that. That's the only way to make this work. And stop. And now it's going backwards. I find this exactly the same level of annoying as a manual one. Like maybe even more annoying because it's so unpredictable and you have to put your finger in the most awkward position so this can fully do a 360. I would be lying to you guys if I didn't say that I prefer the five star a whole lot more. So this time around, the winner is the five star. So here is something that I've never really used before or even owned in my kitchen. This is a juice presser. So I've decided that we're gonna juice an apple because I feel like an orange would be too easy. I mean, anything can basically juice an orange. Now on this side, we've got the one star rated product. I just wanna show you how branding on the one star is like on point and the photos are great. And then you check the reviews and everyone's like, you can juice an apple, an orange, nothing with this. It looks like it's metal, but some of the parts feel very flimsy, almost like it's plastic, weird. Now on the other hand, for the five star, literally the box, it's just a paper box. It says the name of the product and made in China and that's all the branding they've got. So this cost 40 pounds and this one costs 20 pounds. So 45 versus 20, that's like, less than half i don't know for the first time in my life we're about to make homemade apple juice this is this should be interesting so we're going to start with a five star this is some insane contraption i can literally barely fit the whole thing in frame so i guess we put the apple in here feels like this is gonna go everywhere i don't have string for this that cannot be how you do this all right, change of plans we need to read the instructions so on the box it says that we need to cut our fruit in half so, all right, that makes sense, I think. So I'm gonna press this down. Wait, it's working. Wow, it smells like apple. Oh my God. This is such a waste of an apple. Are you kidding me? It honestly isn't that difficult to use. So I guess we need to do this for all three apples. Oh my god, I just realized we're halfway through the apples and like, wow, this is the most expensive apple juice I've ever drank in my life, that's for sure. Alright, so I wrote five star on this one. So I'm gonna set this aside and then in the end we're gonna do like a comparison. I guess the main difference with the one star juicer, first of all, this is a lot smaller and just easier to keep in your kitchen. It's like, it doesn't hold, like... Kind of Same exact apple, so we're gonna cut them all in half. So this is our first apple. I feel like we're gonna break this. <laughs> I can't tell if this has gone all the way. The other one was so much easier to figure out. Oh my god, this is, this is so crap. And that is how much juice we got from one apple. 
I don't want to say anything, but I mean, we'll see at the end. The juice is like sitting here. It's not going down. Ugh. Weird, weird. And then you have to turn the apple and then do it again. And look, more juice is going to come out. How does that make any sense? I would honestly not even bother writing this. I would just ask for my money back. Are you kidding me? This is... This is about to be interesting. Okay guys, so on this side we got the one star juice and on this one we got the five star. So I think we should start with the five star. We kind of saw how much we would get. It's pretty good. Doesn't have a lot of chunks or anything. That is how much juice three apples get you. Suddenly understand economics. And here we've got the juice from the one star apple. So... <laughs> This one feels so much darker, like you really got the stuff, I don't know the bits. This one is super watery and it's also less. I was actually, I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting the difference to be a lot bigger, but it's actually not as much as I thought. I do have to say, I think this one is more clear. This was a nightmare to use. The one star product really wasn't good. I would not keep that in my kitchen like that. That's not even worth one star, that's worth a return. The color is really what surprises me the most. If there's any like chefs or nutritionists, please tell me which one you think has more like nutrients in it. This is an interesting start to this next one. So basically for this next one, I wanted to get two kitchen gadgets that allow you to cook pancakes on the actual fire. And I found a very highly rated one. So this one, as you can see, like it's like, it makes many pancakes in one go. This was filled with only five star reviews and a lot of reviews. I actually think this is one of the best selling frying pans on the website. Now on the one star, um, yeah, the reviews were really bad, like just universally. When the package arrived to my house, I noticed that this has been used before. <laughs> And especially in the current climate, we can't be too sure. <laughs> this is a mild exposure. Yeah, this is the brand. This stuff has been used before. The box was ripped open. You can literally see this has probably been duct taped like four times before. Ew, this is like brown, the bubble wrap. Like someone... A lot of the reviews said that people returned it. And I'm assuming this is one, one of the people. So if you left a one-star review on this product, let's eat pancakes together. It literally got like some batter on here. Do you see that it's all glued? And then I tried to remove it. <laughs> and it's like, how is it possible that this is melted? Like the outer package. I'm gonna let it sit with this antibacterial spray for a little bit before we use it to make food. I feel like we shouldn't even use it, but I will. They really thought of everything. Like, look how clean that looks. It's weird, but like the packaging of things is literally so important. I mean, it does have a bit of dust. I don't understand what this is for. It's too small to fit in my head. Wow. The size of the pancakes is not very comparable. Like this one will be like more like an American style. This will be like a mini pancake. So we're gonna be using exactly the same pancake dough. So there is no like mistake here. Both of them claim to be non-stick like the surface. So you don't need to use any kind of grease or butter. That is gonna be like actually the main thing that we're gonna test out. Here goes our first batch of Five star pancakes. Wow, this is actually a great idea. Like this makes it so easy to make them all the same size. But if the non-stick claim is real, this is really, really good to use to make pancakes. It also comes with this little wood spoon, so you can use this to like flip it. This was surprisingly quick. It, it definitely does not stick, but it is difficult to flip with this alone. Like you might need the help of like, oh my God. Okay, I could have definitely left it a little bit longer. <laughs> it's a little pale, but it is cooked. Not even a single bit is stuck there. Like it's super non-stick. This is the most color I managed to get on it. But honestly, do you see the surface? It looks like, like a Japanese, like, or like a restaurant pancake. Like it's so perfect. And like, it's almost like oddly satisfying. Oh, they look so good. <laughs> It's super easy to use. They all look the same size and looks wise, they look incredible as well. In my whole life, I've never made pancakes that look that good. They definitely are a little bit pale, but that is entirely my fault. I will keep this in my kitchen and use this every single day from now on. I swear to you, like you could do so much with this. So the price for these gadgets was all around the same, which I think was like 
ten ninety nine or something like that for both of them. Um, a lot of the reviews claim that the non-stick coat on this is really, really bad, and that is basically why people couldn't use it. But honestly, I'm gonna keep it real, it seems like a good non-stick coat. Like, I'm gonna try to do the exact same level of heat. I'm gonna do a bigger pancake, but in the end, we're probably gonna use the same dough that we used on the other one. If you prefer, like, a big, thick pancake, this is actually probably better. So we're gonna close it. And I think we're gonna give it maybe like a minute. It hasn't been like a minute, but this is smoking a little bit too much. It, it was only like 30 seconds. So let's see what it looks like on this side. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's stuck. Wait, what? How did it stuck so quickly? That I swear to you was like, are you kidding me? It's like... Wait, maybe... Maybe that will help? Oh! Oh my god, that's even worse! Oh my god... Ew! How is he burned and raw at the same time? I'm so confused. <laughs> the name of the product, it's actually called Ceramic Non-Stick Pancake Maker. We're supposed to have pancakes in three easy steps. Step number one, pour. Step number two, cook. Step number three, flip. And that will lead you to this beautiful result. What even is this? Like, I honestly don't know if I should be disappointed. In an ideal world, we would have tried both of the items, the one star, the five star, and both of them wouldn't be that bad and we'd just be happy. Or maybe the one star would like be super surprising and fun, but that was not the case. Actually, that wasn't the case in most of the video. I think probably only, only in the serrated knife, I think the one star was better than the five star. The rest of the video was basically, the reviews seem to be accurate, so I got most of these on Amazon, Argos, which is a British website, so you can trust the reviews on these websites, unfortunately, because, I mean, <laughs> how? This is almost a challenge, we can almost fill in the gaps. <laughs> with the pancakes from this side. I really enjoyed the part in which we tested the frying pans with the steak, so I think for the next video it would be really interesting to just follow one recipe using one and five star appliances. I think that could be fun, so if that's something that you guys want to watch, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, and you will hopefully get a notification next time if you tap the notification bell. But obviously, only subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more episodes of this. If not, you might try something else. I do a lot of different things. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give it a like. I know a lot of you guys are home from school or a lot of you are working from home because of everything that's going on in the world. So I know <laughs> this is my time to shine. Like, I'm gonna try to keep you guys entertained because I know there isn't a lot to watch. The other day, I refreshed my Netflix every two hours and hope in the hope is that i would find something to watch also my youtube subscription box so i get it so i'm gonna try to make more videos because i know the world is in need of like some dumb gadgets dumb cakes or whatever i can make just to make you guys forget about everything that's going on I'll leave a comment down below are you guys still going to school are you still going to work to the office or are you just basically at home trying pretending to work me when I'm editing. It's a weird time in the world. I would love to hear that you guys are doing well and that everything is okay. So do like completely non-related to the video, do keep me updated on everything that's going on. And if you're healthy and fine, and if you're dealing with this whole thing mentally better than me, which you probably are. I love you guys. I hope you had fun. Uh, I will try to see you guys very, very soon. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.